first heard of Rap Soto from a buddy of mine at the University of Iowa, Desi Druschel, who's the pitching coach. And they're doing so many great things with technology, it's beyond belief. What's the best bang for the buck? And the first company he mentioned was Rap Soto. And that's how I that's how I learned of you guys. I saw some stuff on social media, but hearing it from somebody that I trust, that's how we that's how I found out about it. I firmly believe that everybody can learn and you can certainly teach an old dog new tricks and I'm ready to learn. Um, but younger coaches, now's the time to get involved with this because I guarantee you it will help our program. And if it's gonna help our program, it can help every program. And it's, it's inexpensive enough that almost anybody can get it. That's what I liked about it. If you're gonna spend the money on something, I wanna be able to use it to know what's going on. Um, you know, I could probably show you around in our hitting facility right now and show you two or three gadgets that we spent a lot of money on that are sitting over there gathering dust. So this is, you know, I don't think that's gonna be the case with Rap Soto. Um, Chipper Jones was still playing baseball for the Atlanta Braves. And I remember watching this game on TV and it was a high inside fastball. I mean, like chest height. And I don't know how he did it, but he hammered it about 420 right down the right field line. Stayed completely fair. And I jumped up out of my chair and I was like, how did he hit that and how did he keep it fair? Because it was high and inside and mo probably 99% of the hitters would have pulled it foul and hooked it, but he kept it fair. I think one of the things that Rap Soto is gonna help us with the most is um, the spin off the bat of the ball. And if Chipper Jones would have had it right then and there, they would have saw that his spin was perfect. There was no hook to it. There was no slice, obviously. Uh, he kept it fair. And um, I think a lot of times in college softball, more and more, you're seeing hard throwers that throw inside a lot. Because a lot of times we don't see inside pitches, but we need to know how to hit that pitch and keep it fair. So that's one of the things I'm, I'm most looking forward to. I think almost anybody should be able to hit it out. It's not that far. You know, the bats are good, the ball is good, the speed of the pitch is awesome. Um, if you do what you're supposed to do, um, swing-wise, you should be able to get it out. And Rap Soto is gonna help with that because you can immediately see um, the distance. Um, you know, like we had a kid the other day in practice that her average uh, distance off the bat was about 230 feet. That's gonna clear any fence that we play in America, really. I think there's a, a thing that kind of everybody is missing with this is a competitive nature. Because if you and I hit and we see the information on the iPad immediately, and I hit it 221, if you're a competitor, what are you gonna do? You're gonna get up there and say, okay, I'm gonna hit it 222. And so there's that competitive nature that people don't talk about enough. And with, I mean, that's one of the first questions we ask our kids. On a scale of one to 10, how competitive are you? Well, most of them say nine and a half, 10 or 11. And if they're truly competitive, they're gonna to wanna to do better than the teammate. And that's how you get better. You know, with some of the things that you're able to um, take from Rap Soto in terms of data, uh, I love the, the video feedback. Um, you know, and you can send it on a phone. You can send it on an iPhone and they can watch it immediately. Uh, you can play it back a thousand times. You know, and especially if it's a good swing, because when, when we get a good swing, we want them to memorize that swing. And, you know, we give each kid like a personal, personal highlight video before the season starts. And this is gonna be a valuable tool for us because not only can you see the swing, but you see all the data. And she can look down on her phone and we're playing a big game and she can watch this over and over and over and see, I hit this ball 246 feet and all the positive information, because if you hit it 246, it's pretty positive. I can see right now a kid where she does come around the ball a little bit. When she does it correct, the ball is in the brickyard, which is about 260 feet from home plate. And I can see next fall, when we start doing our individual workouts, um, that's gonna help her a lot, because it's gonna be immediate feedback. I mean, she can literally turn around, look at the iPad and say, Okay, I see the spin, let me get after it again. We call our hitting facility 7-Eleven because it's open 24 seven. And all I gotta do is swipe their card and they're in here. Um, but you can set it up, it's easy to use. 
the first thing about the pitching unit was the spin on the ball. You know, in softball, um, there's not a lot of people that throw just fastballs. Uh, now, if you throw 66 to 68, you could probably get away with it. You know, where the ball just, you know, you can throw it by somebody. But sooner than later, you know, they're gonna catch up with the speed. And, you know, we, we have, it's a prime example of a kid that we used to have, uh, City Little John. And I'm telling you the truth when I say she probably threw 57 to 59 miles an hour, but her ball moved as much as Mariano Rivera from the Yankees. And everybody knew it was coming. He had one pitch, she had one pitch. And if she threw it correctly, you weren't hitting it. And so I think it, it gives hope to kids that don't throw 65 and above. You can look at this monitor and say, okay, see the spin on that. Um, and you can judge every pitch after based on a really good spin rate. And um, if you spin the ball and if it moves, you're gonna get people out, period. Um, if you throw a fastball down the gut, it's gonna get hit over the fence. So the spin on the ball is a key. And it doesn't, it's not like, you know, it doesn't need to move two feet. It just moves a little bit so the batter miss hits the ball. Simple as that, you know. If you get people out off a of spin, you will get recruited. Your product could probably find some of those kids or um, a kid that could get the data and then send it to coaches um, because the data doesn't lie. The difference maker for me was, I'm gonna come back to it again, was the spin. Because a lot of people have the exit velocity, the distance, but the actual spin of the ball off the bat to me is huge. You know, and you can, you can see right away, did I get in front of it just a little? And is the ball um, going sideways instead of a backspin? Um, and you can say over and over and over, you know, to a hitter, but when you can actually look at something and see it in a 3D, they're gonna believe it. Because, you know, it doesn't, the data doesn't lie. You know, you hit it, go look at it, see how it looks, and if it looks good, remember that swing. And you know, we always say, put that into your memory bank. You know, if we're out on the field and we didn't have this, we would always say, remember that swing, remember that swing. But now we can actually say, look at the swing, look at the swing, and they can see it. Uh, and they keep it, you know, all season long or really throughout their career. You know, I've kept the one of the kid that uh, in practice the other day, she hit it about 364. And uh, my assistant coach sent it to me and said, look at this. And I'll probably keep that swing until I retire. <laughs> With uh, the ease of use of Rapsodo, it's easy to jump in, you know? Um, and you gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. And I think the other big thing, and I don't think we've mentioned this yet, but today's generation, I believe 100% truly learns better by watching either a video, um, something that they can see either on a phone or a computer. The day of lecturing for 20 minutes or 30 minutes, that, that doesn't work with this generation. They want to see it. And there's so many more kids that learn quicker, better, by seeing something instead of me lecturing to you. Um, we're standing in front of full-length mirrors in our hitting facility. That's one way that we do it. But now, with the technology, with all the data, I, I just think you got to step in sometime and you might as well make the plunge because once you get used to it, then it becomes a part of your program, you know? And again, like I said, I think the first thing I said with you was, if you're doing the same thing that you were doing five years ago, you're probably behind everybody in your league. And it's true in our league, the SEC is the best conference in America for softball. And if you're doing the same thing you're doing five years ago, you're getting run over by the competition because I know that they're working and they're trying to get better. And this is, a, this is really, it's an easy way to get your kids better. I would recommend it to anybody, really, in coaching. Um, again, it's, it's the visual learning opportunity. You get to see it. And definitely kids that are younger, uh, 12 and under, they wanna see it too. They might, they might get even more out of it than an older kid, because she knows her swing a little bit. The younger kids, they, they, don't, they can't control their body yet, you know, and they can see what they were doing. But I was at a clinic in New Jersey this weekend and um, you know, 500 coaches. And if I were them, now's the time to do it. You know, 
you're going to get better. Your kids are going to get better. If you don't uh, use it, um, you better probably uh, start thinking of another career or um, people are just going to run you over.